I'm gonna walk in and everybody's gonna be like, who is that girl smelling like this? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Dawn. Super excited for today's video because I love being a woman. Oh, I love being a woman. And as a woman or just as a person in general, I feel like one of the top tier compliments that you can receive is you smell good. When I get that compliment, I eat it up. I'm trying to tell you, I'm like, this is what I'm wearing, yada, 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 because it is just such a top tier compliment. Obviously, there are a lot of things that go into smelling good, not just what you're wearing perfume wise, but that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna go through all the perfumes that are currently in my perfume collection. This is my current perfume collection. It doesn't account for perfumes that I've had in the past that I've liked but haven't repurchased yet. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like videos like this or anything like that, make sure you guys give it a like down below and subscribe so that we can be friends. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Dawn.Kirkland. All right, bet. let's get into today's video. Just a little backstory on my journey with perfume. So growing up, you know, when you're in middle school and high school, you are literally, well, back in the day, I'm 25, so. How old am I? Oh, um, 25. <laughs> 25. I don't know how kids do it nowadays. But when I was younger, in middle school, high school, you know, you were getting body sprays from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret and y'all were running it up. And then eventually I would get like the actual perfumes from Victoria's Secret, not just the body sprays. But yeah, that's what we were on. Y'all know that perfume video? The ch 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 Yeah, that was probably all of us back then. <laughs> After high school, obviously, kind of grew into, all right, let's get some grown-up perfumes. And one of the first ones that I ever got was Sofia by Sofia Vergara. I want to buy that perfume and repurchase it if they still make it. That was my signature scent for at least a year, and it smelled amazing. I remember walking into Subway, and the employee was literally like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? I can, it smells so good, I can smell you over the counter. So yeah, it was a very good, strong scent. Hopefully they still make it, and I can still buy it, because obviously I was probably like, I wasn't even 21, I was probably like 20, 19, I don't know. Sophia by Sophia Vergara was one that really got me into perfumes. Sometimes I do want to go more on the sweet side like oh like I'm sweet like and then the other side I want to go I'm sexy I'm grown I'm gonna walk in and everybody's gonna be like who is that girl smelling like this so that's mostly what my perfume collection consists of and you'll see that as a running theme I need to get another acrylic shelf I did get the shelves on Amazon they're linked in my Amazon storefront which is in my bio before we get into the perfumes I want y'all to know the difference between the different types of perfume you have eau de toilette eau de parfum and you have le parfum but the difference is the percentage of perfume oil, how concentrated the perfume is. The higher the percentage of perfume oil in the perfume, depending on what you get, the scent should last longer um, for wear throughout the day. You shouldn't have to spray as much, things like that. Eau de toilette, that is the bottom tier, the lowest percentage. They still are very good though. You're gonna find that they're a little cheaper than Eau de Parfum and Le Parfum. And then you have Eau de Parfum, which is a higher percentage. And then you have Le Parfum, which is the highest percentage. I'm gonna go by brand because I have multiple perfumes from most of the brands in my collection. Um, and I'm also going to tell you guys the different notes that are listed by the company in these perfumes. So you guys can get a feel of what they you know, smell like. Starting off strong with one of my favorite brands to get perfumes, YSL. These two for me are OG YSL perfumes. This is YSL's Mon Perry. This was my signature scent for the longest, for years. This is genuinely, I believe, my seventh bottle of this perfume. Sixth or seventh, something like that. I have repurchased it myself. I've also been gifted this perfume by my family and my friends for like Christmas, birthdays, things like that, because that's how much I loved this perfume and just always needed to have it. Um, and I'm going to keep it in my collection because it's just so good. This is a very sweet perfume. It says that this is a fruity floral, which I totally get, like I said, very sweet. Passionate sweet floral inspired by Paris, the city of love. So it has red berries, white datura flower, and white musk. You do get that slight musk, which I like. My perfumes will usually have a mix of both, but it'll be heavier on one than the other. So if I'm in a mood to wear something more sweet, it'll be more sweet like this one. 
but it'll have that little slight hint of musk. Other times, I feel like wearing something that's a little bit heavier on the musk side, but it will be a little sweet, you know? This smells so freaking good. I haven't worn this in a while, so I might just have to wear it. Black Opium. This is an OG, and I feel like for a lot of people, this is an OG YSL fragrance. They actually sent me this, but I have bought this before. I bought the big bottle and I used all of it. Mm. The notes for Black Opium include coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. It says it's warm and spicy, um, sweet gourmand, which I definitely get. It says that the top note is coffee, but don't be scared by that. I really don't get heavy coffee scent on this, but it just makes it warm and inviting. Now getting into my signature scent for right now. This is YSL's Libre. I had been wanting to try this one, um, and they sent it to me as well when I worked with them on TikTok for their beauty line. Uh, so grateful for that. So grateful. I am obsessed with this scent. I feel like this is a very sexy scent. This is to me heavier on the musk side. It has orange blossom, musk, and lavender essence. I don't really smell the lavender for me. I'm not a lavender girl, honestly. So I get more of the orange blossom and the musk and I love it. Now we're getting into the Chanel perfumes in my collection. This is O Tender from the Chance Chanel line. This is a very good, refreshing, light, sweet scent. The fragrance family for this one is floral, um, and the keynotes are jasmine, grapefruit, and white musk. Yeah, like I said, this is very light and refreshing. It reminds me of a sweet scent you would wear on a spring day. This one right here, I love this perfume so much. It smells expensive. Not that the other ones don't, because they do. This is Gabrielle by Chanel. It says Jasmine and Orange Blossom. Love, love this one. I got this one as a gift, and I will be repurchasing if I ever run out of it. It's just, it's just so good. This is Valentino's Voce Viva. It smells amazing. The bottle is Sexy. My sister got this for me because she was like, this perfume reminds me of you. Like this is you in a bottle. I'm just sniffing all these damn perfumes. That's not good. It says that this is in the floral family. Bergamot, love bergamot. Mandarin, and then it also has orange blossom, golden gardenia, uh, vanilla and tonka bean. Sensual, I get vanilla. It just smells amazing. Getting into these two babies. These two perfumes are from the Replica Fragrance line by Mesa Margiela. They sent me these along with matching candles. I'm gonna get into why I like these so much. What I love about the Replica line, and I think is so cute, so clever, the name Replica, right? Replicate. What they're doing with each scent is replicating a memory. You guys know our senses definitely are connected to our memories, so if you hear a certain song, you might think of a certain time. If you smell something, a certain scent, it can remind you of good memories, people, places, things you were doing, time periods. And I think that is so cute that that's basically what their brand is for their fragrance lines and their candles. So it says replica, reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. I love it. This one is on a date. It gives you the provenance and period. So it says province 2014. The fragrance description says grapes and roses. I love this one. It's very sweet. You do pick up the grapes and the roses. I don't think this is in there, but as somebody that loves lychee, it reminds me a little bit of lychee as well, and it wears very well. Now this one, this is a small bottle, and I will be purchasing a big one. If you know me, and if you don't, I am an island girl through and through. I was born in the Philippines, but obviously I came to Florida when I was young, but still, Florida, beaches. I like to travel, go into a tropical place, beaches. Like I am an island girl. I love the beach, I love the water, I'm a cancer. I don't really know nothing about astrology by the way, or really care to, but I am a cancer so I'm a water sign. Like I love the beach. This fragrance right here, it's called Beach Walk. Provenance and period, Calvi 1972. I was born in 1998, baby. The fragrance description is sun-kissed, salty skin. It does genuinely remind me of a beach day and I don't, this may sound, odd if you know you know the smell of sunscreen like sunscreen in a certain way i can't exactly name like brands or anything like that but there's a certain scent from suns from certain sunscreens that i love like i absolutely love it mm. 
getting into my two dossier perfumes so if you don't know who dossier is they are a perfume brand that makes affordable versions of the designer perfumes like i just showed you so they have some i know for like libre and ysl mon Perry and things like that because obviously those perfumes honestly range anywhere from smaller sizes starting at like a hundred dollars to like 150 and up for the bigger bottles and these ones are anywhere between 30 to 50 dollars i believe i really like this scent this is their floral marshmallow scent this is a dupe for love by killian i've never smelled killian in person but i'm going to after getting this the top notes are marshmallow neroli and bergamot orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine oris for the middle notes and amber vanilla and musk for the base notes I was just talking to one of my girls about this because she bought some dossier perfumes as well and she got this one. We never smelt a perfume like this. It smells so freaking good. They don't wear as well or as long as the actual designer perfumes. They last decent on me, but you do have to reapply these. And I also have this one, which is Ambery Saffron. I've never smelt Baccarat, right? But I hear so many people talking about it. As soon as I sprayed this, I was literally like, this is just her by Burberry. Absolutely, because I've had, I've bought her by Burberry and I used it all, which it is a very good scent. It's very light, sweet, fresh, I would say. So the top notes in this are saffron and orange blossom. Middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. The base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. This is a really good everyday scent, which is how I used my um, her by Burberry perfume. Just so y'all know, because obviously this is the cheaper version, probably, like I said, anywhere between $30 to $50. Baccarat, I'm pretty sure it's like 300 around that range, but also her by Burberry is like one something, so you can also get that version as well. Uh, it smells exactly like this, if that this is truly what what Baccarat smells like. And the last perfume that is in my current collection is actually this Calvin Klein perfume. This is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. See, it's purple. I'm pretty sure I stole this from my sister because she wasn't using it and I liked the way it smelled. <laughs> so that's why I have this because I don't, I didn't buy this. This is the only Calvin Klein perfume I've ever smelled and it smells so good. The top notes are pomegranate and succulent persimmon. Middle is sensual champaka flower, rich black orchid, and the base is liquid amber, black violet, cream, and mahogany wood. I love mahogany. I like like those musts, like those masculine little scents. My favorite candle that I have a million of in my apartment right now is mahogany teakwood high intensity from Bath and Body Works. If you know, you know. That has been my candle for years. I love that scent because you cannot go wrong with these fragrances, I will say that. Investing in a really good perfume really adds to your confidence. You're going to feel sexy, you're gonna smell sexy. Make sure y'all give this a like and subscribe while you're at it. I love being a woman. I love being able to do things like have a perfume collection. Like that is so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.